What exactly is a peat bog? It's an incredibly old landform, which plays an important part in the development of our natural history. So let's do a bit of time travelling. We have to go back thousands of years to a time when Scotland was covered in huge, slow-moving rivers of ice known as glaciers that are formed when snow collects over a long, long time. About 11,500 years ago, Scotland became warmer. The ice began to melt and, as it retreated, it left behind a rather bleak landscape with some areas covered in a layer of fresh, fertile sediment. Plant seeds from southern Britain and Europe were carried by the wind to Scotland. And in the warmer conditions, they began to grow in this sediment. Grasses were among the first to arrive, and eventually trees arrived and forests grew. The climate then got wetter, as it often does, becoming less suitable for most trees, but much more suitable for bog plants like cotton grass and sphagnum mosses. Sphagnum mosses are ideally suited to living in these waterlogged, acidic and nutrient-poor conditions. Being pretty tough, these species are not easily broken down and so their remains accumulate and eventually form peat. Roughly one millimetre of peat forms each year. Over many, many years, the mosses grow and the peat accumulates and turns what was once a wooded landscape into a blanket bog landscape. But this is not just any bog. The flow country is the largest blanket bog landscape in the whole of Europe. 